right, I've got a clean tone on my amp, and then I'm using a rat distortion to just get some rock and roll distortion going on. Uh, we're going to do an E power chord with a bit of palm muting, and it's chug, chicka, chug, chicka, chug, chicka, chug, chicka, chug. So you've got down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. We're we're aiming for those top two strings, the E and the A string, index finger on the second fret of the A string. So you go like this. And we break off that rhythm to grab a power chord on F sharp. And I'm using the double power chord with the A and D string, fourth fret, ring and pinky, index on the second. grabbing second fret to third fret power chord then you're going across right across the 12th fret we're going to do the harmonics there and we're aiming for the uh, D G and B if you have a whammy wee 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 then I'm hitting the fifth fret and you just touch it right across the fret. And I'm aiming for the top, the, the E, B, and G. And even the D if you can. On that second one, you're holding that power chord, but then you're letting the open G, B, and high E ring out. Once again, there would be whammy there if you've got it. Whammy if you got them. So from the top. And you could even, there's more whammy, but you could slide from the 12th fret on that second one. Now you, the vo the vocals come in and I, you're going jun ja ja jun ja 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 and I count it like this one two three four five six seven eight nine and then so it's nine chugs and then a C power chord which would be third fret fifth fret fifth fret so from the top of the vocals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we do the C power chord, right when I get there, I'm gonna count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got this little thing here, and you can think of it like this, it happens later in the song too. A G power chord that we already played, picked and then slid up to the fifth and then scoot it over to the A root, so those move over, so it'd be a D power chord up to E. With sliding, G up to A slid, D up to E slid. Like that. So when the vocals come in, uh, I count nine, C, I count six, and then do the, and here's what I mean, with the vocals coming in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you count eight, vocals come back in, does the same thing, nine and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it goes to, I guess, what we call the chorus or the pre chorus. Uh, we'll call it the chorus. So that's the first part of it. 
So I'm playing a C power chord. I'm using my pinky and index because that slides. Index goes down to second. And then I'm playing fifth fret, which is the same as the open A. When you play the fifth fret, you can kind of control it more. A, E, 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 E power chord. So check it out. And then I watched the original guitar player play this on some video because I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. And, and he was playing it like this. So that's the next one. Here's the first one. And so you're just playing uh, fourths, like a very dark chord, and you're going like this. Three, five, seven, five, three, but on both the A, A the E and A strings. I'm using kind of a combination of index and ring finger. You can do that. So three, five, seven, five, three. Then we go to a, stri a regular B power chord which is seven and nine, to A, back to E. So real slow. The first one. And there's another harmony going on over, over. So I'm starting on the D string second fret. Two, four, five. And back down. Open D. Third fret A. So that's playing on top of. All right, so just real quick to recap uh, those two parts. And then over that. Then we have a D power chord to an A power chord back to the top of the song. So you can do it right here. Barracuda. And there's a harmonic part, and it alternates between the 12th fret and the 19th fret back and forth. So 12 on the high E, 19 on the G, then you go 12 on the B, then 19 on the D, then 12 on the G, then 19 on the A, and then 12 on the D. So. And then up to those, up to that fifth fret, high E, B, and G. And then another thing that's going on, there's a few other parts that we still have to cover, but another part that happens in the song, we already did it in another little section, and that would be the that G to slid up to A, D slid up to E. So you also have this part. It's 
It's going to go back to our chorus. Now, it chugs with no other fancy riffs. So that brings us to our next section, and we're com and uh, we're coming from. And we go to a C power chord, third fret, A string. To an A power chord, back to the chug. Same thing again. Now it does a new rhythm, and it starts with the E chugging. So the rhythm's a little weird on this next one, but it's doing the E chug. Then it's doing an F sharp power chord, but we're really emphasizing the A and D. That's almost muted there if you want. Depends on, you know, there's two guitars going on in the original recording, but think of it as that chord. So you got. So it's two, three, five back quickly, a little off rhythm like. Into the C to A part again. <laughs> then goes to this kind of Beatles y kind of thing that I've heard. So, solo would have to be in its own video here. Feel free to request it. But we've got an E minor seven like this. So we're pinkies on 15 of the B. Then it's on 14. Then 13. Does that twice and you pick it out? All right, now we go through an epic E jam, like E psychedelic jam. Like, I miss, uh, well, jam bands do that a bit, but I miss the, you know, that, that era was awesome. Anyway, uh, they jam out like they do not care. So to kind of conclude the E jam, they do a little descending E minor thing. So uh, there's two guitars going on, but if you can play an E minor seven. So that 15 pinky on the uh, 15 of the B as you hold the 12 of the G B in high E there, so you have that. And then that ring finger can go down. Then middle finger on 13. And then the full E minor there. So if you, another way to do that is you can just do the pinky on the A and D. 